Welcome to southeastern Wisconsin off the shores of Lake Michigan for the final face-off of the year between the Battle Creek Battlejacks and the Kenosha Kingfish. Good evening, I'm Corey Sparks. Kenosha is now up 6-5 over Battle Creek on the season series after yesterday's victory, and it took a collective effort from everybody on the boys in navy blue. Both teams came in on skids as the Battle Jacks had lost three straight, and the Kingfish had dropped four of their last five. JT Sokolov got the party started for the visitors with this moonshot to left field on the opening frame. From there, it was all Kenosha. They compiled six unanswered runs with help from newcomers Dan Lockery and Nico Bermio, both of which had a pair of RBI on the day. But the closing story? How about the professional door slammer himself in Tucker Shally with a performance for the ages? The Eckerd College sophomore put together a 12-out save for his Northwoods League best 10th save of the season to get the Kingfish back in the win column. Full count, bases loaded, two down, link letter comes home. This one's hit hard to left, diving play, that's how it ends. Cole Gober saves it on a dive. First game of a four game set. Strike three and Tucker may be an education major but Stipp taught him something there. We'll go to the bottom half of the inning. Winning run 180 feet away. 0-2 count here on triple. The freshman from Florida State. Hits this one up the middle. It's a green light for Valencius. He's on the way home. That ball has died in the grass. Walk off Kingfish. The Kingfish win it against the Mallards here at historic Simmons Field. On a Dreamers single up the middle by Lance Triple. Transfer portal and is now on his way to Indiana State from D3 to D1. Trying to come up clutch for the Kingfish here. Hard hit ball down the right side. It'll find the 4-3 hole and score at least one. Getting the wave around is Triple. The throw is late. The pitch is roped into center. And it's going to find grass. One's going to score. Make it two. Lorenzo's coming around. Why don't you just tie up the game for us, Matt Wolf? Early offense has been an issue, but they get a surge from Gober. Janik belts one to left. How about back-to-back -back jacks? Camden Janik, his first long ball on the season, and Kenosha's up 2-0. Shally for the dagger, and he got it! Tucker Shally with a 12-out save, and his Northwoods League best 10th save of the season. 20, you are ridiculous. Score frozen at 2-1. to one. Ever since the bottom of the second, we're bottom four now. Kenosha trying to build on to their lead. It starts with Reagan Burford, who struck out swinging to end the first. Burford, the junior from Ole Miss, a member of the 2022 Collegiate World Series champions. A one from Young. Check swing, ball caught the zone anyway. Young is working efficiently so far. Spike getting rung up a little. It's at 54 pitches. Pacing better than Tolbert, but he faces a one run deficit. One, two. Burford fouls that one back. He's the third Ole Miss player in his family. His dad played tennis, his great uncle played baseball, and now Reagan follows suit. Jacob Young working on five straight retired. Two two. Hit hard to the left center gap. He'll split it. Ball dies in the grass pretty quickly. And Burford will stop at one. No, that is for the Kingfish. 
Hanging curve. Burford makes some pay for it. A throw in by Peterson to keep him at bay. Mason Morris steps up now after swinging at a first pitch and getting a triple down the line. He ended up scoring the second run of the game for Kenosha. Stays more patient here, stares at a ball in the dirt. Morris, a three-time Rawlings preseason All-American between 2020 and 2022, his last three years of high school. It's from Tupelo, Mississippi. 1-0. Gets his money's worth on that one, cuts way under it, and that's strike one. Morris now hitting near the 200 mark. He was near the 130s range for a very long time, but again, now five for his last 11. Takes a home run swing at this one, flares it down the right side, and it'll settle into the second or third row. And then bounce way up. A couple of kids chasing after that one once more. Young sets in. The one two. Misses upstairs. Morris has a skill set most don't. He can throw a fastball accurately in the low 90s, and he can also hit pretty well as well. Runner going. Morris whiffs. The throw high. And Burford gets in in time for his seventh stolen base in as many attempts yet to be caught. The catcher, number 25, Brandon Heidel. A throw once more. Burford just getting under. And now Brandon Heidel, who walked and was stranded at second back in the second frame. Heidel hitting just 118 coming into today. Has walked 12 times to just six strikeouts. Going to make some hard contact. This one's a flare shot. Once again, up and out of play. Ones are wild now. That was pitch number 65 for Jacob Young. Taken low and away. Heidel, a 2021 Horizon League all freshman team selection. Chose Oakland because of its criminal justice and broadcasting programs. So maybe we'll see Mr. Heidel behind the mic. Check swing there. And it's strike two. Young comes home. Heidel fights it off, working a productive at bat. Young really able to mix it up with the five pitch arsenal. Showing off all facets of it today. This one's hit hard to right field. Stays up in the air long enough. Heinzen makes the play. Tagging for third is Burford. The throw way too high. He advances 90 feet on the fly out. Two down, but Burford 90 feet away from making it 3-1. Catch by Heinzen. A beautiful throw, but just a bit too high. Sorian had to get up. Wasn't able to make the tag in time. By then, Burford was already in. Now Julian Jimenez, a man who's four for his last five. Waves hard at strike one. 
Jimenez registered just one hit in his first six games. He now has four in his last two. Heating up is Julian. He thinks about it, takes the ball outside. Count is even. Jimenez played in eight games for Rockford in 2022. Burford looking to go home on anything by the catcher. This one sliced to the opposite field. Over the stands. And there's Scuba Elvis looking on as per usual. Now 1-2. Jimenez is going to have to swing at anything close. Looking to send Burford home. That one looks for the gap, but finds it, and he will. Jimenez, a hard turnaround first, and an RBI single for number 17, his first RBI of the summer. He's swinging a hot bat, five for his last six now. Now three to one Kenosha. They continue to tack it on. Placing that ball in the right spot, easily getting to first. Taking a hard turn, banking on maybe a poor throw. And Kenosha has now put on a run in three of the first four innings. Back to the top of the order, it's Dom Listy. Listy 0 for 2 on the day. Jimenez going, the throw. High once again, and Jimenez gets in on a helmet tag that's too late. Seventeen showing off the wheels. That's his fourth stolen base in his eighth game. Has not been caught yet. Lefty-righty matchup here. This one skied to left center, fading towards left. The call made by Berrigan, an allowed one. He gloves it for out number three, but not before Kenosha puts on another on a Julian Jimenez RBI single. His first of the season, we're through four. It'll be eight, nine, and one due up for the Spiders when we come back on the Northwoods League Baseball Network. Corey Sparks here at Historic Simmons Field following Kenosha's five to three win over Kokomo, our player of the game alongside of me, Miguel Lucece, your second time here. Two runs shot your first of the season in the fourth. Did you know it was out? Uh, I knew it was going to be close for sure. I hit it pretty well. It was hit pretty low, but I'm happy I, got, I was able to sneak out of here. You touch on plate, and they all just rain you with cheers in the dugout. What can you say about that? No, I mean, it's awesome. I haven't been here since day one, and uh, I just could see the growth in our team, and knowing they have my back and we all have each other's backs is a nice feeling to have. Absolutely. And then last thing, Miguel, I want to talk about just your baseball journey. What is your why when you go out there? You've been performing day in and day out. You've been the best in terms of plate discipline on this team in walk strong. What is your why and what is your motivation on the baseball diamond? I mean, I have to give the glory all to God. I mean, ultimately it's his plan and I just do the best to have confidence in him, follow it. And ultimately, I guess it was time for me to have a good day today and all glory goes to him. Miguel Lucece keeping it close to home. He's your player of the game in Kenosha's 5-3 victory over Kokomo tonight. Corey Sparks here at Historic Simmons Field following Kenosha's 6-1 victory over Battle Creek. Alongside of me, our player of the game in Brandon Nye. Brandon, you've had a lot of highs this year. Home run challenge champ, walk-off two-run shot against Kokomo. Another night like tonight. How do you keep it going? Uh, I mean, it's easy when you got the guys in the dugout just cheering you on. I mean, I mean not cheering me on, but they're cheering everybody on. And they're in the game for everybody. And... I mean, when you play as a team, it's easy to do well individually, so. Two for three today with a run scored and an RBI. What was your approach at the plate specifically tonight? Uh, I mean, it changed at bat to at bat. Um, I mean, I just tried to find the right pitches to sit in different situations. And I mean, when everyone's getting hits, it, it feels contagious. So it's easier when it's like that. Plenty of accolades for you in summer ball this season. You lead the team with seven home runs and now 28 RBI. Where does this summer rank all time for you? You seem like you're having a lot of fun out there. Um, I feel like, I mean, it's just been a summer where I learned a lot about myself. I mean, I'm ha I have 180 at bat, so you got to learn something from those. So I, it's just having fun and learning how to get out of a slump. Everyone goes through trumps, and it's just learning. Plenty of highs this season for Brandon Nye, your player of the game, two for three with a run scored and an RBI in Kenosha's 6-1 to victory tonight.